This MA has as its core component training and the development of skills. Essentially, we want students to engage with the cutting edge in perspectives and approaches in the understanding of conflict and security. What makes the program in international conflict studies unique um, is the way in which it brings together innovative um, conceptual and theoretical approaches with an understanding and practice of method. So basically, how do you deploy uh, conceptual toolboxes? How do you deploy concepts that you learn about in particular empirical sites of conflict, violence and insecurity? The great thing about international conflict studies is that we got to learn about conflict through a non-traditional scope rather than the typical realist power politics level. We got into a lot more of um, the social side of politics and a lot of the subliminal messages behind um, politics and conflict, for example, language, um, biopolitics. So I, I ended up um, going into academia after my studies with, um, on the International Conflict Studies Program. Um, and in many ways, the International Conflict Studies Program has underpinned all the work I've done since. I went on to write my PhD on uh, questions relating to suicide bombing, self-immolation, um, political self-sacrifice. In my history degree, I studied a lot of the Middle East, and I got really interested in that area. And so that was actually why I started looking at international relations. International Conflict Studies, I thought, sounded more I guess up my alley, so to speak, and I just really liked the look at the classes and the program. The seminar classes are an opportunity for students to bring some of the broad conceptual and methodological tools that we engage with to bear on the problem of violence in international politics. My optional modules, I have uh, two of them. I'm doing diplomacy and war and insurgency in the Middle East both of which are a lot of fun. The debates in the class, I think, were the best because the class size was relatively small, but at the same time, it was very diverse. We had people from all walks of life and we were all able to be very open and we were all very accepting of each other's opinions, which made debates very lively and very engaging, but then at the same time, very respectful in class. You go in with a set of questions and then you leave with even more questions but then those questions completely change the way you view the world. We look for essentially a critical perspective that students not just come in with, but that we develop. So students would come in and would be excited about learning new and cutting edge perspectives in the understanding of conflict and security practices. In this program, you will be introduced to a whole series of innovative and critical methods. Um, to give just a few examples, um, ethnographic methods, uh, discourse analysis, visual methods, historical methods. These are um, skills of um, analysis um, that you can deploy, that you can use in your future careers. Our graduates in international conflict studies have been exceptional in terms of being able to find careers in international organizations, both international governmental organizations such as the United Nations and the European Commission, but also um, in non-governmental organizations. They are attractive to these organizations because they exactly bring the analytical and research skills that we develop in DMA in International Conflict Studies.